Hello guys! On our first lesson on this quarter, we will discuss HTML attributes. First is what is HTML attributes. HTML attributes provide additional information about HTML elements. Take note all HTML elements can have attributes. And attributes are always specified in the start tag. Attributes usually comes in name and value first, like name is equal to, then inside the quotation is the value. So basically, HTML attributes provide additional information or adi additional functionality to HTML elements or HTML tag natin. And this is the attribute syntax. So inside our first tag or start tag, dun po natin ilalagay yung attribute natin. So, tag name, then attribute name is equal to quotation and then value. So, tandaan na nasa loob lagi dapat ito ng start tag. Okay. Our first example is the lang attribute. The lang attribute of the HTML tag declares the language of the web page. We are using lang attribute because sinusunod po natin ang ISO 639-1 which is the language codes. So, in our example, dito sa image natin, so makikita nyo na ang lang attribute natin is nasa loob ng start tag na HTML. So, HTML, then attribute name natin is lang, is equal to the value is n-us. So, let's try. Open your editor, then start creating an HTML document. So, first is doc type HTML. And then, the main structure is HTML, then close HTML, then inside the HTML, the head tag, then end tag ng head tag, and then body tag. Siyempre, yung end tag ni body tag. Then, control save it. So, saan ba lagi natin ito sinesave? Dapat sa folder kung saan doon natin kinocompile lahat ng HTML documents natin. And then, ang gagawin kong file name is attributes.html And then, just click save. Okay. Let's now add attributes sa HTML tag natin. So, Ang lang attribute ay nilalagay natin sa loob ni start tag HTML. So, attribute name which is lang is equal to sa loob ng quotation n-us. And that's it. So, for our next attribute, the href and title attribute. The href attributes of A specifies the URL of the page that link goes to. And the title attribute defines some extra information about an element. So, we are using href and title attribute naman sa A tag natin or the link tag. So, as you can see sa image below, the, uh, inside the link tag, nilagay natin si href is equal to the URL. And then, the title is equal to some information or additional information sa element natin. Then, let's try. Okay, inside the body, i-declare ko si link tag. And then, ang content nito is Facebook link. Control save it, then let's try to run it. Open lang natin yung folder natin, then click the HTML. Okay, as you can see, nagkaroon na po tayo ng Facebook link na text. So, but, hindi siya clickable. So, we just need to add our first attribute, which is the href. And then, sa loob ng href is, dito natin ilalagay yung URL ni Facebook. Or nung webpage or website na gusto mong puntahan. 
So, ilagay natin si URL, then control save, then refresh. And then, naging clickable na po si Facebook link na text natin. Then, let's try to click it. And ayan, napunta tayo sa Facebook page. So, dagdagin pa natin to ng another attribute. The title attribute. So, the attribute name is title is, and it is equal to some extra information. Maglalagay tayo ng another information. For example is, this will, so let me just add title. Okay, control save, then refresh. So, nabago na yung title natin. Okay, next attribute natin ay the source width, height, and alt attribute na kadalas ang ginagamit sa image tag. So, first is the source attribute of image. It, is, it specifies the fat to the image to be displayed. Then, the width and height attributes of image provide size information for images. And the alt attribute of image provides an alternate text for an image. So, in this example, so, in our, sa loob ng image tag natin is the source. And then, inside the source is the URL or kung saan nakalagay yung image na gagamitin natin. Then, alt, then equal to my desktop background. I will show you later kung ano ba yung ginagawa ni alt. Then, width and height, specifically ginagamit natin to manipulate the size ng image na gagamitin natin. And take note that there are two types of URL in attribute source. Una is yung absolute URL. So, links to an external image that is hosted on another website. It means na yung image na ginagamit natin is kinukuha natin online. Hindi po siya nakasave sa mismong uh, computer natin. Then, the relative URL naman is ito na po yung ginagamit natin ngayon. Sa example na ginawa natin last meeting, so, ang image na ginamit natin ay nakasave sa mismong computer natin. That's why, ang ginawa lang natin is, ang source natin is yung folder kung saan nakalagay yung image, then yung file name ng image natin. Okay, let's try. But first, kumuha muna tayo ng image na gagamitin natin. So, for example, ang image nyo is nasa downloads. So, kunin nyo yung image, control copy it, then back lang tayo sa HTML folder natin, then dun sa... Uh, loob ng image folder dito natin ilagay yung image na gagamitin natin ok ngayon meron na tayong image na gagamitin at nasa loob siya ng html folder and then sa loob din ni image folder ok And now, tawagin natin si image tag. First attribute is source. SRC, so this is the attribute name, is equal to kung saan natin kukunin yung image na gagamitin natin. So, to determine kung saan yung folder or yung location ng image natin is Tandaan natin na sa loob siya ng image folder. And then, the file name is baby.jpg. Okay, so, lagay lang natin siya image. Then, backslash. Then, file name is baby.jpg. Then, control save it. Then, let's view it. Okay, so, gumana na po yung image na gagamitin natin which is baby.jpg okay, ngayon dagdagan pa natin siya ng attribute which is the alt attribute okay, alt is equal then sa loob ng quotation is my bike okay, then refresh it so walang nabago so ano ba yung ginagawa ni alt attribute for example is unreadable yung image na ginamit natin Okay, mamaliin ko muna yung pangalan ng image natin. 
Lagyan ko siya ng 1, then refresh. Control save. Control save, then refresh. So, kapag po unreadable yung image natin, is lalabas po yung nakalagay kay alt, which is the alternative. So, kailan ba natin ito kadalasan nakikita? So, kapag naka-free data tayo or, hindi na mag, or ayaw mag-load ng image, for example, sa Facebook is nalabas po si alt. So, kadalasan nakalagay kay alt is kung ano ba or in-explain niya kung ano ba yung image na hindi natin nakikita. As you can see, ito po yung uh, image and then yung alt natin. So, lagyan natin siya ng VR or ng break line. Then, control save, then refresh. So, ayan. So, okay ngayon, itama na ulit natin yung file name. Then, the fresh. Okay, next is the height and width attribute. Height, then equal to, and then width. And then, inside the height and width, dito po natin ilalagay yung value na gusto natin. For example, is 500 pixel yung height. And then, 500 pixel then yung width. Control, save, then refresh. So, na-manipulate natin yung size ng image natin. But, as you can see, is medyo lumabo yung image natin. Or medyo naging compress siya. So, one thing you can do, Para ma-manipulate or mabago yung size ng image na hindi siya naging compressed or pixelated is punta lang tayo kay Fain. Okay, open natin yung image, then right click, then edit. Then, after that, so ito na po yung image natin. So punta tayo kay resize. And then, click po natin si pixels. So, after nyo i-click si pixel, make sure na nakaklik po si, or nakacheck si maintain aspect ratio. And, ang babaguhin lang natin is, it's either yung horizontal, or yung width, or yung vertical, or yung height. For example, is baguhin natin yung vertical niya. Gawin ko lang siyang 800. So, let's try. So, tandaan ang size natin is, for 50 pixel, Per width, then 800 for height. Control, save, then refresh. So, nabago natin yung image size nang hindi naging compressed or pixelated yung image natin. So, you can use paint. And our next attribute naman is style. The style attribute is used to add style to an element such as color, font, size, and more. Ang syntax ito is tag name, then attribute name is equal to, sa loob ng quotation is yung property, colon, then value, semicolon. So kanina ang ginagawa lang natin is attribute name is equal to, Value. Ngayon is nadagdagin siya ng property, colon, value, and semicolon. So, let's try. Okay. Nagad ako ng lyrics ng uh, mga kanta, which is the lyrics of the ocean eyes and then the lyrics of the super far. So, uh, gagamitin natin itong mga content na to for our style attribute. Okay. Unang style attribute is ilalagay natin sa body. So, style is equal to background color. Then, colon. Then, pili lang tayo ng background color. For example, is powder blue. Then, let's try. Okay, open natin. Then, the fresh. Oh, okay. So, powdered powder blue. And the fresh. So, as you can see, nagbago na po yung background color. Okay, next. Next attribute na gagamitin natin sa style is style will be equal to baguhin natin yung font size niya. So, font size equal to 50 pixel. 
So, huwag nyo pong kakalimutan si semicolon. So, parang sa Java lang, di ba? So, control save and then balik tayo dito, then refresh. So, nakita nyo po yung pagbabago natin kay Ocean Eyes. So, lumaki na yung font size niya. So, gawin natin siya pareho sa headings natin. Okay, dito sa another heading, gawin lang natin siyang 30 pixel. Then, refresh. Okay, uh, medyo lakihan natin. 40 pixel. Then, ayan. Okay. So, we use font size, then yung value ni font size. Okay, ngayon, para mas maging readable yung lyrics natin is nagdagan natin siya ng VR. So, VR, 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 VR. Then, the fresh. So, uh, naging mas readable na po yung lyrics. Ngayon naman, gusto ko siyang gawing or i-align sa center. So, we just need to declare style is equal to text align. Then, center. Okay. So, mapapansin nyo, pag sinave nyo siya, then refresh. So, gumana siya, but may error po tayo, which is hindi natin nilagay yung quotation. So, magtataka kayo, sir, bakit uh, kahit hindi nyo nilagay yung quotation is gawa na siya? Yes po, gagana siya, but pagdating nyo sa mga susunod pa na style is doon na po tayo magkaka-error. Kasi, mababasa po dito na nagko-continue pa rin or hindi natin kinoclose yung style value natin. So, i-align din natin sa center itong pangalawang paragraph natin. Okay. So, paano naman kung gusto natin na lahat sila ay or lahat ng text is naka-center? So, Kunin natin tong si text align center. So, copy ko lang siya and then idagdag lang natin siya dito sa kasunod kay value tag. So, style, background color, powder blue, then after nung semicolon, paste natin siya dito. Then control save, then let's try. So, lahat po ng laman ni body is naka-align center. So, pwede na nating i-delete itong style na to. So, ang gagawin natin is papaltang ko lang siya ng color or ng font color. Color and then, ang color na gagawin ko is color mm, white. Try natin. Okay. And then, in our paragraph below naman, palta natin siya ng font family. Font family and then brush script empty and click refresh so nagbago na po lahat so nagbago na po yung uh, font family natin or yung font family na ginamit natin dito sa pangalawang paragraph and that's it so, if you want to explore another at, uh, more attributes, you can visit the Balutri School. So, makikita nyo po dyan kung ano-ano po po yung attributes na pwede natin gamitin sa HTML documents natin.